One of the big inspirations behind my work is my travels. I've been to 23 countries. I've been working very realistically and life-size. We see someone we identify, we relate to them, and we hopefully are not just looking at you know, what they're made out of, but actually their expression on their face. And so I'm using those clues and those identifiable, comfortable sorts of imagery to bring you into the narrative right away. My name is Christina Carfora. I'm a sculptural ceramics artist with a passion for drawing. Normally, the work starts from a real story, from a real person I met, from a real event, or something I actually experienced. A lot of times it's just a moment or something that happens that flickers and I see something there. I do keep a, a sketchbook when I travel. I do a lot of photography as well. And so sometimes the beginning of a piece I don't always see right away, but it's captured in a photograph. They're memories, and so how can you express that through this sort of dreamlike quality. When I went one time in Kalimantan to a rescue, I met a female orangutan there who had her hand chopped off from an oil, the palm oil plantations. She was emaciated, starving, and she had been caught for quote unquote stealing from the palm oil plantation. So that piece, the orangutan, she has this mechanical hand that I created. She has like 300 different parts and I created all of the rivets and everything else, but I really wanted to spend a lot of time with this very harsh human element that I purposely made not functional for her. She can't use it, but it's a reminder always of this relationship and it can be beautiful and it can be ugly. The relationship between humans and how we're impacting the world and our environment. Normally with this, I actually put my own fingernail under their fingernails to make it convincing, so it's just like a real subtle. The hands, they actually represent the passenger pigeon. The passenger pigeon became extinct in 1914. Within only a few short decades, they went from over nine billion of these birds that flew in these flocks across the country, so dense that they actually would lock out the sun. There were so many of them. They're beautiful, but they can also be destructive. The lace represents a time past. So I want to bring it to contemporary context and have us think about other issues. And so when they're installed, the shadows are actually the absence of the passenger pigeon. They're where the light is not. I really enjoy, and I think that's part of why I travel as well, is when I leave the realm of reality, when I re enter the impossible, and, and then starting to figure out how to communicate those sorts of ideas but I don't want to give you the whole answer. People can bring something of their own to the work and then take away a new idea or a story or a desire to travel somewhere, whether it be an actual location or something in their head. There's many different ways of traveling.